Hello friends, welcome to the visual card program and today we are going to study one of the important topic of aptitude that is time, speed and distance. Okay, so uh, in this topic I suggest we should go through the formulas and we should understand the basic concept behind that formulas so that we can solve a number of questions based on time, speed and distance. So let us see uh, the introduction of time, speed and distance and then we'll uh, go on solving number of questions based on that okay so let's begin what is the uh, formula of speed we have learned from the, our 10th standard 11th standard also so what is the formula of speed distance upon time okay so what is the formula of distance speed into time so speed into time what is the formula of time distance upon speed and uh, the derivation we are uh, getting through that is speed is directly proportional to uh, distance we can see here and distance is directly proportional to time and time is inversely proportional to speed this we have to uh, take care that time is inversely proportional to speed so this uh, is used in many of the questions so uh, so what is the standard form of unit okay so what is the unit that is uh, that comes in standard form that is kilometer per hour kilometer should come with hour okay and what is the another standard unit that is meter per second okay meter should come with second okay this you have to keep in mind and the, the another thing is unit conversion okay so what is the unit conversion so one kilometer per hour to change kilometer per hour to meter per second we have to see here one kilometer per hour is you have to multiply by 5 by 18 to change it in meter per second that is 5 by 18 meter per second and one meter per second is just opposite of that 18 by 5 kilometer per hour so this thing we have to note it down and we will use it in solving the questions and uh, the last thing to remember is what is the form of average speed okay so uh, suppose a question comes he travels a distance of 20 kilometer by a speed of uh, x kilometer per hour and another y kilometer with z kilometer, with z kilometer per hour what is the average speed so this type of questions we have to solve it by average speed and the formula is total distance he traveled upon total time so in the, uh, we'll, let's begin the first question and we'll uh, increase our difficulty level and we'll see how to solve all the questions based on time speed and distance let's begin with the first question of time speed and distance that is a bus covers a distance of 172 meter in four hours what is the speed of the bus okay so uh, in the introductory class we have learned the formula of speed and the formula of speed is distance upon time okay so the distance is given 172 kilometer and time is given as 4 hour okay so the units are in its standard form kilometer per hour so no need of any change so by cancelling it we will get 43 43 kilometer per hour so this is the speed of the bus so this is the basic question and it's the first question of time speed and distance and uh, when we will go through the next question we will uh, increase our difficulty level and we will see how to solve all the questions related to time, speed and distance let's see the second question and uh, a man walks at the speed of 4 km per hour and runs at the speed of 8 km per hour okay. how much will the man require to cover the distance of 30 km if he covers half the distance by walking and half the distance by running ok so uh, the question tells the distance is total distance is 30 km ok so this part is 30 km and half the distance means 15 km so 15 km he walks at the speed of 4 km so this distance he walks at the speed of 4 km per hour ok and from here he starts running at the speed of 8 km per hour okay. 8 km per hour and we have to find how much time will the man require 
to cover the distance of 30 km. Okay, how much will the man require means how much time uh, he required to cover the total distance. Okay, so half distance by 4 km per hour, half distance by, by running 8 km per hour. So from here he starts running. So the time taken from here to here suppose T1. Okay, and from here to here suppose T2. So total time will be T1 okay, plus T2. And the formula of T1 is time, the formula of time is distance upon speed. So what is the distance? 15 km per hour. Okay, first half 15 km per hour and the speed is 4. 4 plus another half that is also 15 km per hour and uh, the speed is 8 km per hour. Okay, so what is the uh, LCM? 8. So what you will get here? 30 plus 15 that is equals to 45 upon 8. 45 upon 8. So how much you will get? 8, 5, so 40 and by putting a decimal you will get 50. So 8 into 6, 48. So nearby 5.6 okay, hour. So 5.6 hour he will cover the total distance of 30 kilometers. So this is also a basic question, just we have to remember the concept and we have to remember the formulas and we can solve this type of question. So let's uh, move to another question. So let's move on to the next question. A swimmer swims a certain distance in 6 hours at uniform speed. In return, he increases his speed by 2 km per hour. Okay. So he swims by uh, in 6 hours to a certain distance. Okay, in uniform speed and in return he increases his speed by 2 km per hour and covers the distance in 5 hours. So if he increases speed, he will definitely cover the distance in less time, that is 5 hours. So what is his initial speed? So initial speed we have to find out. Okay, so this type of question, first we have to see that what is the constant quantity in that. Okay, what is the constant? Okay. So he swims to a certain distance and he comes back. Okay. So distance is common. You have to see that the distance is common. Okay. Suppose a person swims from here to here and he comes back from here to here. So this distance is equal to this distance. So distance is common. Okay. So the uh, we can use d1 equals to d2. Okay. So d1. What is the formula of distance? speed into time okay so speed into time and what is the speed that is not given that or that only we have to find out it is this is only the initial speed so s1 into time is given 6 hour equals to s2 s2 is he increases speed by 2 kilometer so he increases by speed by 2 kilometer that is s1 plus 2 s1 plus 2 he, he increases his speed uh, by 2 km, okay, that is initial speed plus 2 into T2, that is 5 hour, that is 5 hour. So, by solving this equation, you can easily get the answer. See here, 6 S1 equals to 5 S1 plus 10, okay, so S1 equals to 10. So, 10 km per hour, this is the initial speed, okay. So, in this way, in this type of question, we have to see what is the constant quantity and according to that, equate the terms and you can easily get the answer. So in time, speed and distance, you don't have to uh, think so much, just use the formula and you can get the answer. So let's see the next question. Walking at 5 sixth of his usual speed, a boy reaches his school 12 minutes late, find the usual time to reach the school okay we have to find the usual time to reach the school so uh, speed speed is given okay the speed is given in which he walks okay the speed is given in which he walks that is 5 by 6 of his usual speed that is 5 by 6 of his usual speed okay so this is the speed in which he walks and this is the usual speed okay so some speed is there at his usual speed and that is 5 by 6 of his usual speed he walks and uh, we have to find the usual time to reach the school so uh, he gets 12 minutes late by walking at this much speed so by walking at this much speed he reaches 12 minutes late so 
in terms of time if we see time equals to 6 by 5th of the usual time because in the introductory class we have seen that speed is indirectly proportional so speed is indirectly proportional to time ok so in, uh, we have seen speed is indirectly proportional to time so time is equal to uh, 5 by 6 so 1 by 5 by 6 is 6 by 5 so 6 by 5 of its usual time so that can be written as 5 by 5 plus ok 1 by 5 so this if you will add you will get 6 by 5 ok of its usual time so uh, we know that 5 by so 5 by 5 is 1 so 1 of the usual time plus 1 by 5 or plus 1 by 5 of the usual time ok so this is the equation we are getting 1 of the usual time so multiplying we will get 1 of the usual time plus 1 by 5th of the usual time so plus this is the usual time ok so 1 into usual time is usual time and this is the 1 by this is the increase this is the increase in the usual time so 1 fifth of the usual time and this increase is only given as this increase is given here as 12 minutes so we can compare here 1 by 5 of the usual time equals to 12 minutes ok so this uh, we can compare 1 by 5 of the usual time so usual time will come as 12 into 5 that is 60 minutes so in this way we can find the usual time so in this way we can find the usual time let's see the next question two bus starts at the same time from A and B and proceeds towards B and A at 36 km per hour and 42 km per hour when they meet it is found that one train has moved 48 km more than the other what is the distance between A and B so according to the question what it tells this is A and this is B ok so two bus starts at the same time from A and B and proceed towards B and A so two bus is there one starts from here and another starts from here at the speed of 36 km per hour and this is 42 km per hour when they meet it is found that one train has moved 48 km more than the other ok so when they meet ok when they meet suppose this is a meeting point this is the meeting point and one train has moved 48 km more than the other ok so when they meet ok so suppose this train so this sorry this bus has travelled x km so uh, it is found that one train has moved 48 km more than the other so suppose this bus has travelled x km so this bus has travelled x plus 48 km according to the question this is given so this is the meeting point and at the meeting point we know that suppose uh, the time taken to cover um, the distance from A to the meeting point and is same as the time taken to cover from here from B to the meeting point because the time will be same from uh, because when they meet how much time they have taken to meet the time will be same ok so this time suppose the time is T1 and this time suppose the time is T2 we know that it is same so when we equate how much we will get so time is equal to distance upon speed so distance how much distance x distance upon speed that is 36 ok equals to 32 uh, t2 means distance x plus 48 upon speed that is 42 km per hour so by solving this equation we will get 42x minus 36x equals to 36 into 48 ok so by solving this equation we will get that ok so the value of the x will come here as 36 into 48 don't just go on multiplying this you will waste your time you can just go to the concept of cancellation ok so x equals to 
36 into 48 upon 6 that is 6 into 6 ok 6 into 6 so how much we get 288 so 288 is the value of x and the x here is the distance travelled ok so the distance travelled we have we get here 288 kilometers ok so we have to find the total distance ok so we have to find the total distance and the total distance will be x plus x plus 48 so x plus x plus 48 that is 2x plus 48 and the value of x is 288 plus 48 ok so the value will come here as 624 ok so in this way by fi finding the constant term we have to just stick with and we can find the answer as 624 kilometer is the total distance let's move on to the next question a car covers first 40 kilometer of his journey in 45 minutes and the remaining 50 kilometer of his journey in 75 minutes what is the average speed of his whole journey ok so this is the question based on average speed and we know that the formula of average speed is total distance upon total time so the formula of average speed is total distance upon total time so uh, what is the total speed total distance total distance is 40 km half of the journey and another remaining journey is 50, 50 km so total distance will be 40 plus 50 and total time will be 45 minutes and 75 minutes so 45 plus 75 but we have to see that the units are not neutralized because kilometer comes with hour not minute ok so we have to change minutes into hour so this is the quantity in minute and we have to change it in hour so how to change minute to hour we have to just divide it by 60 so divide this term by 60 so how much you will get 40 plus 50 is 90 upon 45 plus 75 is 120 so 120 upon 60 so that is 90 upon 2 and that is 45 kilometer per hour is the average speed you can get through the, in this question ok so in this way by just using the formula and neutralizing the unit you can find the average speed ok let's move on to the next question Arjun travelled from A to B by bus at the speed of 30 km per hour and from B to C by bus at the speed of 70 km per hour what is the average speed of the whole journey from A to C if the distance between A and B is same as the distance between B and C suppose the question tells that A and C this is the complete journey A and C and here a point B is given and the distance between this is same as the distance between B and C A and B is same as B and C so we have to find the average speed so uh, this is a special case of average speed in which the distance is same so whenever the question comes to find the average speed and the distance is same we have to just use the formula 2 into S1 S2 upon S1 plus S2 ok so average speed is equals to 2 into S1 S2 upon S1 plus S2 and I will tell you how this formula is derived ok so what is the formula of average speed average speed formula is total distance ok so total distance upon total time so total time T1 upon T2 so this is the formula of average speed and here the distance are same so we have to just write d plus d upon time is how much distance upon speed so distance upon speed and distance upon speed by solving this you will get how much 2d upon S, uh, s2d plus s1d upon s1s2 ok so this you will get 
S1, S2 will come as LCM and this you can get. So how much it, how much it is? So 2D into S1, S2 upon uh, D can, you can take as common you will get S1 plus S2. So D, D gets cancelled and the formula comes here 2 into S1, S2 upon S1 plus S2. So by taking these as constant the average speed formula becomes 2 into S1, S2 upon S1 plus S2 and we know and the value of S1 and S2 is given in this question and you can directly put the value and you can get the answer so what is the value of S1? the value of S1 is 30 km per hour what is the value of S2? so the value of S2 is 70 km per hour so what will be our answer? 2 into 30 into 70 upon S1 plus S2 30 plus 70 that is 2 into 30 into 70 upon 100 so this 0 can be cancelled so 3, 7 into this is 21 21 into 2 ok so 42 so the answer is 42 we have to find the average speed so 42 km per hour so this is the average speed so by just using the formula you can find the average speed moving on to the next question of average speed Saurabh covers a distance in 8 hour in which he reaches in which he travelled at a speed of 48 km in first half in first 4 hour okay, and 60 km in next 4 hour find the average speed of the whole journey we have to find the average speed and uh, he travelled a certain distance in 8 km and first 4 km in 48 km per hour and next for, uh, next 4 hours he travelled 60 km per hour so here we can see that the time is same ok so 4, four, four hours and in next 4 hours so the time is same so the formula of average speed in which the time is same the formula becomes simply S1 plus S2 upon 2 so the average speed formula becomes when the time is same S1 plus S2 upon 2 so what is S1? S1 is how much? 48 and what is S2? S2 is how much? 60 upon 2 that is 108 upon 2 108 upon 2 that is 54 kilometer Per hour. This is the average speed. Now let's see the question based on trains. Okay, so uh, the question in question based on trains, the concept comes here the relative speed. Okay, so the speed becomes here the relative speed because uh, so in the question based on train, the well, there is only one formula and the formula is S1 plus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 upon T. And what is S1 H2? S1 H2 is the speed of the trains. Okay, so two quantities are there. Uh, that, that can be train, that can be a man running. Okay, so that can be a cyclist. Okay, the, uh, that is the speeds of the both quantity. Or L1 L2 is the length of the both quantity. That, and here we are taking as trains. And T is the time taken to cross each other. Okay, so when they, they will uh, move in the same direction or when they will move in opposite direction they will cross each other so that is the time taken to cross each other so this t is the time taken to cross each other and the, uh, and the formula of relative speed and to see what is relative speed we have to just keep two things in mind ok so when both trains or both quantity are travelling in same direction the speed gets subtracted the speed gets subtracted that is s1 minus s2 or s2 minus s1 and when the train or the two quantity travels in different direction or opposite direction you can say the speed gets added that is s1 plus s2 so this all things you have to keep in mind to solve all the questions based on trains nothing else ok so let's uh, begin with the first question and we will decrease our difficulty level so that you can solve all the questions which comes based on trains let's begin with the first question based on trains 
uh, a train running at the speed of 48 km per hour crosses another train coming from both direction in 18 seconds. Okay, so we have to find the length of the train, length of the first train, and we know the formula that is. So that is the. Uh, so we have to take your length running in opposite direction. So the speed will get added. So S1 plus S2 equals to L1 plus L2 upon T. Okay. So uh, we do. Uh, we have to find the length of the first train, and we know the speed of the first train. That is the speed of the first train is 48 plus S2. We don't know the speed of the second train. Okay, uh, and, it, and we know the closing time that is 18 seconds. Okay, so we have to find the length of the first train. So here the both the quantities are train. So we cannot put the value negligible. So uh, the length cannot be negligible quantity. So uh, here we cannot take the length as negligible. So uh, we don't know the value of S2, we don't know the value of S1, we don't know the value of L2. So here we cannot uh, determine what is the value of the length of the first train. So in this type of question, when uh, two or three values are unknown, we cannot find the answer and we, can, we have to simply mark the option as cannot be determined. That is generally fourth option and we have to see this, see this as cannot be determined. See, some people make mistakes by taking this and this as negligible. We cannot take the speed and length of the train. If it is man, man standing, then we can take the length and speed as negligible. Because the man, we have uh, according to the train, his length will be negligible. And his speed also, because he's standing, his speed also will be negligible. But in this question, both the quantities are train. We cannot take both the quantities negligible. So just we have to mark the answer as cannot be determined. It's a tricky question in which you will uh, put both the quantities as uh, negligible and you will get the wrong answer. And the option, in the option, the answer will be present. Okay. So uh, in this question, simply you have to see uh, say that it cannot be determined. Let's see our first question based on train. Okay. A two centimeter long train running at the speed of 120 km per hour passes another train in the same direction at the speed of 80 km per hour what is in 36 seconds we have to remember in, it is the crossing time 36 seconds what is the length of the another train we have to find the length of the another train so uh, the formula here is s1 and this, because it is in same direction we know that the speed gets added so s1 plus s2 okay equals to l1 plus l2 upon t so the speed of the first train is 120 okay and speed of second train is 80 speed of second train is 80 equals to l1 length of the first train is how much 270 and we have to find the length of the second train and we know the crossing time is 36 seconds Okay, so here we will get 40 equals to 270 plus L2 upon 36. And now you can see that it is given in meter, 270 meter, and it is given in second, 36 second. And here the quantity is kilometer per hour. So we have to neutralize the uh, quantity. So for kilometer per hour, we have to change it in meter per second. So how to change? We have to just multiply it by 5 by 18. So by multiplying 40 into 5 by 18 equals to 270 plus L2 upon 36. Now we do, just don't go on multiplying this quantity and leading to confusion. Just use the smart way and wait up to that quantity in which you can cancel the both the quantity. So let's solve this 40 into 5 by 18 into 36 equals to 270 plus L2 ok so now you can cancel 18 into 2 so 14 into 5 is 200 and 200 into 2 is 400 so 400 minus 270 equals to L2 
so L2 will come here 130 meter so using the smart way of calculation you can find the answer as 130 meter let's see our next question based on train a 240 meter long train crosses a man standing on a platform of length 400 meter okay so I have marked here I will tell you how I have marked 400 meter in 8 seconds what is the speed of the train we have to find the speed of the train so a 200 240 meter long train is there and it crosses a man in 8 seconds it does not crosses platform in 8 seconds so you have to clearly uh, read the question it crosses a man in 8 seconds so we cannot use 400 here this is just given a value which should not be used in the question uh, so the formula here is s1 plus s2 equals to l1 plus l2 upon t and because a man is a negligible quantity with respect to train so the s2 and l2 will be negligible and what is the value of s1 we have to find out and l1 is given as 240 okay 240 upon time is given as 8 second so the value of s1 will be 30 30 meter per second okay because here meter and here second so meter per second and suppose the answer is given all the options are given in kilometer per hour to change the value from meter per second to kilometer per hour we have to multiply it by 18 by 5 so multiplying this by 18 by 5 we will get 5 into 6 so 18 into 6 is 108 kilometer per hour so in this way we can solve this type of questions so friends subscribe our youtube channel to get the latest update of our videos and upcoming government jobs and to get the complete video series of aptitude reasoning english computer awareness and banking awareness visit our website visualcard.com so thank you for watching this video